I guess what I'm saying is that the more history I study, ours and others, the more certain I am that there is one fertilizer essential to the survival of civilization, and that fertilizer is sweat. guys today is thursday march the 9th and hopefully we'll be able to finish this white oak this morning get that thing quarter sawed so two things going on today the first thing is before we go over to the farm i'm going to head over to a tree service a lot or really a tree service i think he's like a, a landscape service guy he does trees and mowing all kinds of stuff but he got in touch with me the other day and he's got a large sycamore he's trying to get rid of he cut down and he said it's 10 feet long and right at 50, I think 52 inches through the middle on the diameter. So that is a really big piece of timber. So we'll definitely go by there this morning on the way to the farm and check out that sycamore and hopefully try to pick that thing up in the next few days. And that's the thing about sycamore is you gotta be really smart when you saw stuff up like that because sycamore is very wet. It's got a high moisture content and an interlocking grain system going on. And there's two ways that you can do sycamore whenever you saw it. You can quarter saw it, which is probably the best practice because you get the most stable lumber out of it and it dries a lot easier. Because if you just flat saw or, or rift saw sycamore into lumber, you're going to have a hard time when it dries and you'll probably lose 70% of your boards due to warps and cupping because it just does not behave very well at all while drying. But another option would be cutting that thing into some wide 40 some inch wide slabs on the chainsaw mill and doing an overcut on them where you're cutting them a whole lot thicker than you'll need them with the finished dimensions, knowing that you're gonna lose a little bit, but you'll have some really nice wide slabs out of it. And if this is a 10 foot long timber with no taper, you're talking about 10 foot long, 48 to 50 inch wide slabs. That's pretty good money. So we'll go by there and check that out first and see what condition the timber's in. Then we'll go up to the farm and work on that white oak. And another thing is I got some help over the sawmill today for a change. James, who's one of my Patreons over on the Patreon side, is coming down from Ohio for a few days. He's vacationing with his family in a nearby town. He's going to come by here today and do some sawmilling with me. So that's the two things going on today. Go by and check on this sycamore timber and then go up to the farm and quarter saw that white oak. So stay with us, guys. We'll have a pretty good day here at the sawmill.
I don't mean perspiration. I mean the kind of steamy, streamy, salty sweat that's wrung from a man by hard physical work. Somehow, the sweat gets into the soil of a farm or a factory or a city or a state or a nation, and everything thereabouts grows tall and strong and tough enough to stand against any storm. But the day the sweat dries up, the soil dries up. And whole civilizations are buried in dust.